Hello guys, uh, welcome to another of my uh, how to help for homeowner videos and today we'll show you how to replace uh, a fuse on a plug top Guys, before we carry on, uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, that'll help me uh, big time to reach more people with the news. Okay, uh, the two common uh, types of plugs, the fish ones, which are come with a, a fixed plug. Uh, let's say we recommend to not try to hardwire those appliances because probably you invalidate your warranty because you're messing up with the uh, appliance and so I'll show you do this one first that's very easy so as you can see you have those two slots so with your thin screwdriver you slot it in and you push up that comes out and there's the fuse so again from this side you slot it in up to about halfway through the fuse and you pull out and that's it and then get a new one remember always you need to stick to uh, the actual rating this is a 5 pump but don't trust what is in there I have seen it before people uh, people upgrading them to solve uh, an issue so you can see here this label says 5 amp, 5 and an A so that's what we're looking for you should never ever put a fuse more more than this so for, for the plugs uh, the ones that you can find in the out it's uh, 3, 5 and 13 amp so you can put a 3 amp uh, it's not a problem it, 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 it may cause it to blow faster but at least it's not dangerous so if you don't have a 5 amp for the time being you can put a 3 amp if you haven't got one but you should never put a 13 so you get the new fuse you put it back you push until you hear the click sound the black top the, the cover you hear click you make sure it's on and that's it job done so the other one needs a little bit more work and so what you have to do ideally with a, a Phillips screwdriver uh, you have to undo this screw first again if you can see uh, this one's a, a 13 amp uh, it comes with a 13 amp with those ones uh, you don't have to stick necessarily to the 13 amp that's actually the maximum that can uh, this uh, plug can take and so you should consult the manufacturer's instructions uh, on, uh, on what, uh, what the plug size you need to have uh, because I have seen a lot of times uh, people just they use the one that, they use one that comes with it while at least they have to downgrade it so you have to take it out and put a smaller one which electricians we always do we have I have spares in my tool bag so if I ever need to, so if, I, if I install one, then appliance that is needs less, must have less than 30 amp fuse, then I just replace it. So you have to undo this screw. And you open it. So, so as you turn around, make sure, be careful, this screw sometimes may fall. And so this is the the fuse so what do you have to do put your thumb on this screw and then with your screwdriver just wedge the, the fuse up uh, and so you put this in the bin and you take a new one uh, remember to make sure you choose the right size put it back in take the lid put it back screw this back job done so that was guys i uh, hope you learned something new today and if you're not sure what you're doing always uh, call an electrician take care bye